What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going on every single sneaker app that is popular to buy the same sneaker and see the results. See how long it takes, see if we get a real or a fake sneaker. We're also going to be using the Check Check app which is the sponsor of this video to go ahead and authenticate each of those sneakers. So let's go ahead and cut back to been over three weeks since we filmed buying this stuff because one of the places took three plus weeks to get a shoe here. Let's go ahead and come back to the footage right now. Need to hop in here and give my man Seth Fowler credit because this is where I originated this idea from. Shout out you Seth, go Raven. All right, guys, it's time to sit down and buy a sneaker off of each of the apps. Now, there are four apps that we're looking at. We're looking at StockX, eBay, Grailed, and also Goat, the four main big ones that I think. Now, the one thing about that is that Grailed does not have an authenticity guarantee like all the other apps, so that's going to be interesting. Now, the one I'm going to start off with is the one that I use to reference prices the most, which is StockX. Now, I use StockX as a reference because it's the brand new price of the sneaker, and you can see exactly what it will cost after all their crazy fees. The last time I bought a sneaker on StockX was actually in April of this year or last year 2020 but my biggest downside of StockX at this point is the fees they're absolutely insane one of the reasons I use StockX the most when it comes to referencing pricing is because the app layout is really good it's just very easy to see what's popular how, like what the price is for these shoes so like for example you come on here you can see the most popular right now you can see it you can easily click on it you can press buy or sell whenever it loads but the biggest kicker with StockX and why I do not buy like anything from them anymore is when you go to buy, you see the price is 220. You see that and then you go to the next step, which is going to be fees. There's a processing fee and a shipping fee, $14 and $6. So you're thinking, okay, 240, 55, not bad. You go over to the last step, which is review purchase, and then they add on more fees. There's going to be the sales tax that gets added on. So that $220 shoe just went from 220 to 259 so 40 additional dollars that's not too much when it comes to that shoe but let's say you want to make a big ticket purchase like the jordan one low dior 5499 dollars you come over here after the processing fee 13 dollars shipping you go over to review purchase the addition of the fee that gets added on with the sales tax is going to be 431 dollars so after all the fees you're looking at six thousand four dollars now they have to charge that tax they just have to do it. It's a law by the state that I have to pay that sales tax. If not, they would be paying it. But the thing that I do not like is that you can't see that until the absolute last second before you press confirm purchase. It's not like in the first page, okay, I get it. So when I click buy, it should pop up right here instead of waiting and popping up at the next page because right here you're like, okay, the total, that's what it is. Underneath it says taxes will be charged separately. Now, if you go to review purchase, you're all the way, you're pretty much committing. So you're like, oh, I'm gonna press checkout and then you might not see that. It's just like, it's too far over and I feel like it should be more transparent about that. So I found the shoe that I'm gonna do. That is going to be the Nike Dunk High Bodega. It's a sneaker that I actually want. It's one that's not crazy priced, but it is one that has a bunch of crazy materials that I feel like they need to get perfectly right. So I'm gonna go over to, usually I buy depending on size. I'm gonna go over to buy, last sale 255. I could place a bid, the highest bid is 254. I, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna purchase it and not wait. So at 288.96, and then after all the fees, 311.35. That is how much I have to pay to get the shoes. So I'm gonna press confirm purchase, and this is how it's gonna go. Essentially, review is gonna process, make sure my payment goes through, which is gonna be PayPal in my case. And then there we go, order confirmed. So we're gonna wait and see what happens with that. But that is the first purchase, down. Next app we're gonna go to is Goat. Now, like I said, I have not bought off of Goat in a while, and the reason for that would be the interface of StockX is easier for me, but I haven't bought off either. I usually try to go to stores, but the, I just like the way that the app is laid on on StockX. It's a very user-friendly interface, and that's why I kind of go that way. So we're gonna first come down here and see. There is actually the shoe we wanna buy, the Nike Dunk Bodega. They got a couple of the ones. All right, we're gonna come down to the High Legend. Now, the thing that... It's kind of like confusing to me with, with GOAT is like, all right, I scroll and I wanna press, I wanna buy. But if you don't like really pay attention, you don't see that at the bottom, you can see the pricing. So the pricing on here in a size 11 is 268. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy it. Now they have two different options. 268, the best price. That is gonna go to GOAT for verification and then to me. So it's a longer process. They also have the instant, which is more expensive, but you get the shoes directly to you. They're already been authenticated by GOAT. So there's two different options there. The instant basically says they're pre-verified and ready to ship directly. If you order blah, blah, blah. Processing price includes a priority processing fee of 6.5%. So you pay a little bit more, but you get shoes faster. I particularly like that. In this instance, it is, 
with $31 more, that's not too bad for me, but on a Shoes 268, maybe. So we're gonna select the best price. And then after the fees and everything, it's gonna be 304. Now, the price that we paid on Stock X for the shoe was 268, I believe. 267. So we paid 267 for the base price. This one is 268. So it's a dollar cheaper on Stock X. And I ended up paying $6 or $7 roughly more in fees. If we look at the shipping cost, it is $12 or Stock X is 14. We'll see what gets here faster. So I have to pay 301. 70. All right, the order is finished. It was 30170. Stock X paid 311.35. So roughly $9 difference. Now, not a ton of money, but that's still lunch. That's still dinner. Nine bucks. Sorry, this light is being really weird. What the heck? We're gonna go to eBay. So eBay actually did launch this, and I think it's really cool how their whole system works. Now, to buy sneakers off of eBay, ooh, I might have screwed myself here. To buy sneakers off of eBay, you have to buy a shoe that is under certain qualifications of right now. They're gonna be expanding it. Right now, there's only certain qualifications. So let me see if it's on there. I didn't think that ahead. So let me see if there's any with authenticity guarantee. You can actually go to the filter and sort by it. So if you scratch down, authenticity guarantee. Ah, uh, I screwed up. We're gonna have to buy a comparable shoe. Perfect, I'm gonna go for this one right here. Air Jordan 1 Low Gym Red. Now this one was $179.99 plus free shipping. Now this has the authenticity guarantee, so it's gonna go to eBay and then to me. So I'm gonna go buy it now and let's see. You'll see that there's no other fees. Size 11, we'll go to done. Once we go to checkout, the fees is, it's after fees it's $193.94, free shipping. The only thing you have is tax, which is $14, which again, everybody has to have. SMA delivery, January 28th through February 2nd which is about two weeks from now. So I'm gonna go ahead, press confirm and pay. And there we go, your order's in, you should get it by February 2nd. But I need to go over to the other apps and see how much this shoe would cost. It should, everything should be the same as far as the timing for it to come in. Go to a size 11, 143. We go down, after the fees, we're looking at 174.45. So $20 cheaper there on that specific shoe for the exact same size than eBay and StockX is one with a bunch of fees. Now, if we go over to Go for the same pair, $161, we'll select this and we'll go now. Well, like I said with the other ones, I like how Go, it goes straight to the full price, 186.41. We're gonna do one more app that is called Grailed that is similar to all these apps, but the thing about Grailed is they don't have an authenticity guarantee. A lot of people still use this app to get sneakers that are used because when you're going on apps like StockX, it has to be brand new. So this is an app that you could ba maybe find steals at. So we're gonna go to Nike Dunk Bodega. Let's go for this one, 276. I paid 267 and 268 on GOAT and StockX. Let's come over here, plus $10 shipping. Let's make sure. Now, this is the thing you have to do with these apps. You have to make sure the seller is actually legitimate. This guy's called Ty Grails, and he looks like he has a few stuff for sale. He has five stars. Now, if they look sketchy, don't have any reviews, there's no way of getting your money back because there's no authenticity guarantee. It's not going to anybody. It's going from this guy, Ty, to me. So let's go ahead. We're gonna scroll down. Order total 286. That's it. Straight up 286. Now, is there even gonna be sales tax? I'm confused. All right, 286. We're gonna pay now. Order complete, and that's it. 286. So we paid 311. It's 286. That is 20, 25 dollars less than stock eggs. That's a good chunk, but there's that risk of it being fake. So. That's gonna be the total of them. We have four shoes on the way. Let's go ahead and see which comes in first. I'm guessing it's gonna be the one from Grailed. We have to authenticate all of them and then see what happens. Let's go, we'll see you guys probably in a few days. All right guys, so it's currently Thursday the 21st. I think we filmed the part on Mondays, three days later. First update, we have a shoe in from one of the places. Now I don't know which one it is. It literally just came in and I haven't even like looked and seen what it is yet because I want to see. So I'm gonna pull the label, it came through FedEx. I know my go order shipped, I got some emails. Let's see, this is from United Kingdom. Is this even for this video? I'm confused. Let me make sure this is even right. It's a shoe. Yeah, I think, hold on. Oh, dude. These are from GOAT. These came in three days from GOAT. They went from the seller to GOAT, got authenticated, and to me in three days. Why have I not been using GOAT more? 
Wow. We're gonna get more into details when all the rest of them come in, but number one is down. So it is currently January 22nd, a Friday, and the second package just got delivered. Can't really show you. This one is going to be from Grail. There's some blur this out. This one's from Grail, it came USPS. So we still have the StockX and eBay. StockX should be here tomorrow. So one more day after the Grail and then the eBay. eBay still hasn't even shipped to the authenticator yet, I believe, so. That's not great. So it is now the 23rd, the day after the last clip, and we have a box in from StockX. You can tell us from StockX because it says SMOT, but we got that. So we have two down here. We have one upstairs, which is the goat. And then the third one from eBay still is not on the way to me. It's gonna be a while before, I don't, I'm kind of worried. We'll check again in a few days. Guys, so it's currently February 4th, and we don't have the shoe from eBay. I don't know if it's on the way to eBay. I don't know if it's on the way to me. I feel like it's been two weeks since the last clip. I think it was literally like the first shoe came in on the 20th or the 19th, something like that. I think it has to do with them being a new system and, and working it all out because like all these other companies have been doing it for years, but still nothing, still waiting. Guys, it is Sunday, the day of the Super Bowl, and we got the eBay package. The final package finally arrived. You kind of don't want to know how long it's been, but Give me a few minutes. We're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna tell you the details. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start off with the first package, which is coming from GOAT. Now, this got here three days after purchasing. The fastest package to come, which is crazy. So you obviously get a normal box. Inside, you get some paper, so a little bit more packaging. And then here's the sneaker. As we inspect the outside of the box, it's in pretty decent condition. You can see right here is a little mark. These things I don't care about, but maybe you guys do if you're gonna take care of the box. Right there is a little crinkle. Not a big deal to me, I don't really care. Size 11, it is the right size box. We open it up and we have GOAT sticker and a GOAT verified. So in their packages, you get obviously the sticker. And then on here, it goes over all the individual things that they look at in order to make sure it's authentic. Now, how fast are they doing this? Because this sneaker got here in three days, I'm not sure. So open this up, we have the bandana here, which I didn't even know you get at first, which is kind of sick. You can see red bandana, Nike Bodega. This is sick, I didn't even know you get this. Open it up. So luckily we have stuff to compare of the other pairs and we'll see. You obviously have the paper, looks all good. And we'll open up the sneaker. And it looks like it wasn't even like messed with. Here is the shoe itself. These are crazy. I've actually not seen these in person. I really like these. We've got like crazy lacing up here. It says Bodega on the inside. We have the extra laces here. These are out and these aren't in anything. I'm not sure if they're supposed to, but they're out. And then over here is the next pair. That is all that's inside. Here's the sneaker. Quality looks good. It looks all legit to me from everything I can see. So we're gonna obviously wait and authenticate, but everything's in here, size 11. Both shoes are size 11, so that works, and the laces. So that's the first one. I'm gonna make sure I keep this with the specific box. These are from Go, because obviously we need to authenticate. Pair number one, all looks square. Took three days, very quick. It's actually an insanely quick time because I didn't even pay for like a shoe that was already authenticated. Go to the next one, we have from Grail. This didn't have to go through any authentication process. This is straight from the seller, which makes it a lot more sketchy, adds another step, and that's why we have Check Check app because that's kind of like that second step of authentication. Goat has their own authentication. This is another one on top of it. So let's go ahead and open this up and see if we didn't get some fake. Let's see what we got. I don't think this is a fake shoe, but we have the box. Box looks a good color. We got some weight to it. They pay $25. That's something that you don't get from uh, from Goat or anything. You got a note that says, thank you. I wonder if they do this with everybody. It says, hey Harrison, thanks for copying. I hope you love them. Oh, P.S. I love the videos. So he watched the videos. I just put, I don't even have my last name on there. So interesting, guess he knew, but whatever. Regardless, we have the box. All looks pretty good. Another size 11. Looks all similar there. We'll open it up. We have bandana here, about the same. We have the laces that are outside, just like the other pair. And then on this one, we have the shoe. Looks all the same. Got all the size 11. Nick, you wanna buy one from me? Mm. It's a good shoe. We can match. Me, you, and Blake can all match. Oh, that's the grilled pair. Everything looks good. They do not look worn or anything. So shout out to Ty for that. We'll put this to the side and make sure that we keep this together. That is the Grail. Last up is the StockX. The Grail took five days, StockX took. So these from StockX got delivered on the 23rd, which again, I still can't, I think that's four or five days. I don't know. Let's see. Let's pull these out. Still really quick. Five days is not bad at all for a sneaker coming through an authentication system. Now the box on this is a little damaged, so maybe this one is. Nope. Looks pretty good. So open this up. We have StockX has their own sticker right here, and then they have a nice little card. Put this aside. Paper looks, looks, I 
think it's good. We have a stock extra seat here to show how much we paid, $311.35. All right, we're a jumbled mess. Here are the sneakers. You guys have seen these. They look about the same. This one's a little more bent, but with StockX, you get a StockX verified tag. With that, I mean, there's some gunk on the bottom, actually. Here, I don't know, maybe that's just a material from the shoes themselves, but you get an authentication tag. People fake those all the time now. It's very easy to fake them, I believe. And we have the laces out and the bandana. So there are those three. Now, these all came within a week and within two days of each other, but the best price we ended up getting was on Grail. We didn't have to pay tax and we didn't have to pay a fee. So the price comparison, 286 to 311, we saved $25 just by going on there. But that $25 that we saved is negated from the authentication of them. So lastly is eBay. Now, eBay is the newest company to start authenticating sneakers. And if you buy a certain sneaker over a certain price, you can get authenticated. Now I bought these. It took a long time for me to get them. It I got here on the night of the Super Bowl, February 8th, and I believe it was three weeks. I think it was three weeks total. Now, it's hard to knock a company who's just starting because it takes a lot to get through and weed out. Goat and StockX have been doing this for years. So they know how this works and they have the system for it. This is a new system from eBay, but this actually, if you didn't see, is a different sneaker because I didn't realize they're so specific on what they sell through the authentication on eBay that they didn't have the bodegas. It's only Jordans and Yeezys right now. So as you can see, open up the box. It has some little bubble wrap that's nice. We'll pull this out here. Obviously it's just a Jordan 1 Low box. These are Jordan 1 Lows. So I've actually wanted these, I forgot I ordered them. They were $90 retail. And then we open it up and we have a new, I've never seen this before, authentic without a doubt. Congratulations on adding another pair of sneakers to your collection. Enclosed is a pair we've been meticulously inspected by team professional authenticators. To learn more about your sneakers authenticity, you can hold your phone towards the tag and it'll tell you that it is an authentic product. So that's something, StockX, you can't actually scan that tag, but this is saying that you can scan the tag. Cool little card, so let's see if that works. We'll pull these out. We have the Jordan 1 Lowe's, and this is the tag that they're talking about right here. Now, I believe SneakerCon has the same similar things there, but the shoe itself looks pretty good. I love this shoe. We'll both them out. We have a size 11 and a size 11. So I have to download an app called NFC Reader, which I guess is just any sort of NFC reader. So I'm just downloading the top one in the store. It's free. This is not working for me. Maybe it's this specific app. Oh, there we go. All right, so there's a message and it says open. Pull this up and what does it say? Authenticity guaranteed Air Jordan 1 low, gym red, size 11, new with box stop. It says ready to sell them, list them now. So that worked. Now obviously you can't take this off and put on another pair. So if this is cut, then you can't put on another pair, so that does help fight with the fake. So I like that. I like you can actually look up the shoe, but the only issue is it took three weeks. Can we hold that against them because this is like their second month doing it? I don't think so. It took years for these companies to do this, but I mean, we got an authentic pair of shoes. It took a little bit longer. I, I personally believe it will change over time and it will get faster, just like StockX, but we'll have to see. So now we have to authenticate each and every sneaker through the Check Check app. Let me explain. So if you guys have not heard of the Check Check app, it's basically an authentication app that you submit photos of your sneakers to go ahead and get authenticated by a team of authenticators. Now, I've been using this app for months now, almost a year now, probably. Check Check app has authenticated over 460,000 sneakers. It is really simple, and I like to use it as just kind of like that second help. If you've gone through StockX, you've gone through Goat, just in case, I like to use this app as just kind of my safety net to go ahead and double check to make sure they're legit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go sneaker by sneaker. I'm gonna show you the first one, and then I'm gonna just time lapse the rest. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the shoe, we're gonna pull out our phone. All right, so we're gonna go over to the app, we're gonna click new check. Once we go into the new check, it has you pick a brand, we're gonna go to Nike, we're gonna go over to Nike Skateboarding once this pops up, Nike Skateboarding. They have example photos, I already know which photos to take. So the first one's gonna be of the appearance. So we're gonna take a photo of the outside of the shoe. All right, next we're gonna take a picture of the inside label. This one is a little bit tougher to get because the label is like far inside, but you have to really try your best on this. So we've got the inside label, not the best photo, they might ask for another one. We need to pull out the insole, got the insole. Take a picture of the insole stitching, box label. Then you can add additional, I'm already good. Turnaround time, how much it costs is depending on the credits you get. You can get it done in 30 minutes for three credits, four hours for two credits, 12 hours for one credit. I'm gonna do the 30 minutes. All right, request is submitted. Now, you guys are curious how much it costs to get credits. $3 is three credits, $5 for six credits, $8 for 10 credits, and $15 for 20 credits. But you guys can get your first legit check free using my code down below. That is code Harrison Neville. And get your first legit check free on me. So go ahead and use that. Download the app, use my code, first legit check free. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these.
just like that, we have all four pairs submitted. We'll check back in and probably, it'll probably take about 10 minutes. We did, selected 30 minutes for each, but it usually takes a little bit less time. Got all the results back from Check Check, took about 10 minutes. All of the pairs have passed, so they all pass authentication. I'll show a screenshot up on the screen. They looked through all the photos, determined that they are authentic. Goat, Grailed, StockX, eBay. Now obviously these are a little bit different. The pair that got here the fastest was from Grailed. It got here in three days and it cost the cheapest price of $286, I believe. The next quickest pair was from Goat. Now the Goat pair came in in four days and that was $309, I believe. Then the next day the StockX pair came in, that was $311. And this pair, it's hard to justify because it's a different shoe. But if you're looking at these, how fast it was, I would say Goat is probably the best place to go as far as speed and price is a little bit better. If you're willing to risk it for a sneaker go grailed and then if you just want from StockX because you trust them go to StockX. So I'm also teaming up with Check Checks to do a giveaway on this video. We're gonna be giving a free year of legit checks or a thousand dollar sneaker away so you can get these bodegas. All you have to do for that giveaway is you have to one follow the Check Check app which is linked down below. Number two download the Check Check app which is linked down below and number three leave a comment on this video with your Instagram username we'll be picking the winner in two weeks time. So that was a pretty long video that took a lot of filming and research and a lot of stuff so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.